All right, so in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to write your own completion blocks or how to write your own functions that have completion blocks or completion handlers. If you don't understand what those are, I'm going to show you quickly. Um, in the standard iOS SDK, we have functions like this one. Uh, give me a sec, UI view controller. And then let alert equal UI alert controller. And then we have functions such as present. And as you can see in this function, we pass in um, the view controller you want to present, uh, whether it's going to be animated. And at the end, we have this thing that's called completion. Um, this is annoying me at the moment. But as you can see, this completion takes the form of a um, function that takes in no parameters and returns no parameters. And this is also a optional function, so it doesn't have to be there. Um, for now, I'm just going to put no. But essentially, this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write functions that take this format. And essentially what this does is, once everything inside the function is, has been executed, it executes whatever function you pass in here. So that is what we're going to be doing. It's going to be real quick. Um, essentially, if I can get this back to how it was. Uh, yeah, so one thing to understand about this is that in Swift, functions can also be typed. So just how these parameters are types, this is also a type. So that's the main thing that you need to understand. And without further ado, uh, let's write a function. So um, let's call this um, func, um, I don't know, uh, run code. And this is a stupid name, but that's what we need. I'm going to complete and it's going to take a parameter that's a number or let's put some text in instead actually text which is the string and then completion now this is the important part so essentially we have to give the type that we want if we want a completion handler we are going to have a function let's just write up here first so let um now we don't have to put let but anyway um we are going to write it here first so if we have a function that takes no parameters this is what's going to be like the start, and then it returns no parameters. It's going to be like this at the end. In the previous one, it said void, but essentially those are the same thing, the equivalent. So we can write that there. Now, I can plug this straight into that function. What the? What's going on here? Oh, bear with me. Um, show this again. All right, cool. Yeah. So if I plug that in there. Boom, we now have a function that has completion. The difference between this one and the previous one is that in the previous one, the completion was optional, but we can do that later. So essentially, let's just say this function is going to print whatever the text is, and then it's going to call this completion. And as it takes no parameters, we have to write this as well. And um, if we create a function up here, let block equal um what can we write uh print um completion block block oh, can't type has been run yeah so now if we come down here let's make this in fact i should make this full screen and let us quickly run code and complete text um test text and completion shall be block. Now in, oh no, it's not gonna come here, it's gonna come here, isn't it? Um, yeah, so test text, which is this part, completion block has been run. So essentially anything that we pass in here will get executed at the end. Now, to make it how um, the previous one is, to make it optional, all you have to do is add a bracket at the start, um, and add a bracket at the end. And then outside of those two brackets, you put a question mark. This now makes it optional. And down here, when you call it, you have to make sure it's not nil. So in order to do that, you can um, unwrap it or you can add a question mark. So if it is nil, nothing happens. If it's not nil, something happens. So essentially we could run the same thing again, put nil and there you go, you get nothing. One final thing to make this even better than it is right now, because as it is right now, you always have to put this, um, you always have to write out the full 
function, but if you want to add the default parameter, um, a default, default value for the parameter, yeah, a default value, if you want to add a default value for the um, completion parameter, all you do is you add equals nil. And essentially what that means is that you can, you can run the, you can type the function like this, you can call it like that. Essentially what that means is you can call the function like this, or you can call it like this without the um, second part of it. So, and yeah, it's the same thing. Um, additionally, if you want to have this not be a completion handler per se, uh, you can change the name and just call it, um, I don't know, inner function, which is stupid, but essentially what that means is that you can run that anywhere in this code. So you could potentially run it first. So you could put in a function. And in the end, as you can see, oh, oh yeah, here we go, in a function. And um, let's put in a, oops, sorry, um, block. And there you go. So this gets run first and this gets run second. And that is it. That is a tutorial.